The Russia questions Thank are mounting you. this morning, just as the White House says it will no longer be answering them. A source code. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Yeah. Oh, but, but he, he said they're not going to answer questions. But if you're not going to answer questions, then. I'm sorry, what is John Miller? John yeah. Miller needs to stop tweeting about it. John Miller is mm. still tweeting about the Russian investigation. So, how does Trump tweet about it? And, but you're, you're not going to talk about it? I, I don't think, get that. I think lawyers are going to soon close in and get that. that phone from him. They're going to try really hard because every time he does, mm. it can and possibly will be used against him. So he might want to stop. Uh oh, it'll be used against him. Anyhow, a source close to James Comey tells NBC News that the fired FBI director is, quote, cleared for takeoff by special counsel Robert Mueller to testify before the Senate Intelligence Committee. That testimony is expected to come next week, despite questions of whether the newly appointed Mueller would seek to block Comey from speaking out while the investigation is ongoing. The Wall Street Journal cites a single anonymous source who claims Comey will say that President Trump asked him to back off the investigation into former national security adviser Michael Flynn. Flynn stepped down in February after the Washington Post reported that he had misled Vice President Mike Pence specifically about whether he had spoken with the Russian ambassador about relieving sanctions. Meanwhile, special counsel Robert Mueller is beginning to staff up his investigation of Russian meddling. Andrew Weissman, who oversaw the Justice Department's corporate fraud and foreign bribery investigations, in its criminal division is joining the investigation. This, as White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer said yesterday, that the Trump administration will no longer take questions on matters related to Russia. Did the president engage in obstruction of justice uh, in, in repeated meetings with James Comey? Uh, our job, uh, we are focused on the president's agenda and all going forward, all questions on these matters will be referred to outside counsel Mark Kasowitz. Mm. All okay. right. Well, uh, so first of all, Mike, very interesting on the Wall Street Journal article, single source. My guessing is it's a pretty good single source, but they're using what Donald Trump used in retweeting an article about Gerald, Jared Kushner yesterday. But ready for takeoff. Uh, uh, the White House just hasn't shown any any uh, sense of uh, depth, any intelligence at all to, from the very beginning of this Russian process. But uh, Mueller telling Comey he's, quote, ready for takeoff. And then you look at the people that he's bringing in to help on the investigations. Not good news for the White House at all. And certainly not good news when you look into the background of the investigator, the attorney that Bob Mueller hired yesterday. Well, there's no good news uh, for the White House at all whenever the word Russia comes up. Uh, Comey's testimony next week certainly will be must-watch TV. It will be fact-based. There will be very few adjectives. Um, he's a very direct guy. He's clearly been waiting for this opportunity. And uh, the idea that any questions about Russia are now going to a designated hitter, a lawyer, Mark Koslowitz, uh, that's probably the best that the White House can do at this stage in, in terms of deflecting the everyday Niagara of mm. stories about Russia and the Trump administration. And Steve Kornacki, the House panel has issued seven subpoenas, as Mika said, in this Russia investigation. James Comey going to testify next week. This is just relentless for the White House. And meanwhile, they're doing things like yesterday, flirting with the idea of returning those two diplomatic compounds that President Obama kicked the diplomats out of in December, late December, because of their meddling in the election. Why, why do they continue to do things like this publicly that show them taking the side of Russia? It, it's funny because I'm thinking back to when Mueller was announced as the special prosecutor and there was a school of thought then that this was actually going to be good news at least in the short term for the Trump administration because guess what? It would take Russia out of the news. Now this investigation would go behind the scenes. We wouldn't hear about it for a while. We'd move on to other things. Well, guess what? We, we clearly haven't moved on to other things and a lot of that does have to do with the, with the, with the, with the White House has done. You talk about the news with the compound. There's, there's another example where it just becomes, if nothing else, if there's nothing wow. else to it, the question of appearance. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.